All right, I'm gonna make this a quick video. I'm just gonna read you a note that is the reason why focusing on your breath is not a good meditation, okay? It is because you're focused there and not witnessing everything else, you miss being enlightened as you're so focused on making sure your breath is right. So for beginners, I think it's actually not good to focus on your breath, but instead being aware of everything else is better. So every touch, every sound, every smell, every taste, everything you see, every thought you think. So just think about it like this, like when you're breathing, you're thinking about your breath and then because you're focused so deeply on there, your mind's gonna wander and then you're gonna come back to your breath, right? So it becomes a bit boring and you drift off easier. Whereas if you close your eyes, initially start with closing your eyes and just think of everything. So smell, every smell you can smell. Think, like my arms resting on this chair right now, my back is on the back of the chair, my legs, my feet, everything like that. I can all feel them when I close my eyes and just put my mind in that situation, right? Then obviously, yeah, my breath will come in every time I breathe as well. But then also I can hear the tap sink dripping downstairs, for example. I can hear my cat scratching her post or something. I can hear the neighbors starting up their lawnmower, for example, right? I can uh, smell next door neighbors cooking. I can, um, feel like wind wherever I am at, I'm at, for example. So this is a much better meditation because it actually brings you into the presence, into enlightenment, like straight away, because you're literally there. You're not focusing on your breath because your breath is like, it's still so, it's like a, you're putting a bubble around your meditation, for example. Whereas when you're just witnessing everything, it's a much deeper meditation and you can stay there for longer as well. So give that a try. Also, try it with your eyes closed first. And then when you get like pretty good at that, open your eyes. Because when you have your eyes open, I feel like you, there's more thoughts that come. Whereas if you have your eyes closed, for a, so for a beginning, it's actually better to have it with your eyes closed because you can actually really concentrate on every sensation, every feeling, every part of your senses. Even your sight will be black because you'll be, or like if you're looking into red, you'll be, if you're looking into sun, you'll be like, or like something bright, you'll be seeing red on your eyelids anyway. So you're kind of still including that with your like, um, like overall meditation. But when you open your eyes, it becomes a little bit harder. So do it with your eyes closed first, and then when you open your eyes, as soon as you start looking around and, and stuff, you your mind will start to drift a bit more. But then that's good, because you can uh, almost progressively overload your meditation and then become like even better at being present and stuff like that. So here's something that I do. I thought I'd give it a quick share, because it's like useful and helpful, and if you're into meditation, then you want to try this, because it will just um, elevate your meditation. So I hope that helps, and I'll catch you in the next video.